Hi guys! Another video, another angle in my room. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be a haul of all the things that I've bought during my summer holiday in Crete, which is in the Greek island. And at some point in the future there will also be some vlogs of my holiday in Crete, so look out for that. Those will be uploaded on Fridays, by the way. It's like four or five more weeks until I go back to Newcastle and for our first night back I got Catherine and me these Parrot Bay Freeze and Squeeze cocktails and I've got the citrus daiquiri and the frozen berry daiquiri and basically you pop these in the freezer and then you squeeze and then you've got a cocktail and they're quite tasty. So, look forward to that, Kath. For the new flat, I also bought this small grater with a small tub underneath because my account is By the way, I bought the most random stuff while I was on holiday, like not the typical touristy stuff, just stuff like this. <laughs> and then I also got this shot glass that says I love Crete. And um, yeah, that will go nicely with my Irish shot glass. In here there's two perfumes and they're actually perfume copies. And one of them is Prada Candy, which I love. And the other one is a gift for Catherine and I hope she likes it. And if not, I really like it. So we were in the shop and they had these weird magnets and they were all shaped like ice creams. And my sister had bought a bag and then the man said, here, choose a magnet, because she really wanted me to have one for my fridge. So I got this magnet for my fridge. <laughs> Another thing for me and Catherine and our new place is this bottle of Honey Raki, which is a Crete, Cretan drink. Um, and some shot glasses to go along with it and you might see it at some point or if not you can google what it looks like i think that's one more thing for the flat and that is whoops this really nice bowl and i think it's hand painted and it, i just really like it I actually got quite a few bits of makeup, so I'll be talking about this next, I guess. First of all, oops, I got another perfume, and it's Apple by Roxanne, and it's an eau de toilette. It looks a bit like this, and it smells really, really fruity and delicious, and it was only $7.50, and I don't know why you'll ever be able to get this, but... I like it. There was this shop in the place that we stayed in. The place where we stayed was Kokini Hani. And there was a shopping centre and they sold uh, high-end brand makeup. But they sell sold testers. So unused testers. And they sold them for 4 euros each. So I got some of that. First of all, I got a Lancome foundation. Which is the Tanti Dol foundation and I got it in 03 and I quite like it actually very nice not to have to pay 45 euros for this because otherwise I would never have bought it from that same shop I also got a Calvin Klein lip pencil in the shade ruby and I'm just trying out lip pencils and that's what it looks like and I quite like it actually to go with my red lipsticks and from that shop I also got a Helen Rubinstein blush in the colour Adopt Apricot. Very subtle. I don't know if you can see that. It's right there. And then I also got this lip gloss in the colour 15 Callback Coral. Also from Helen Rubinstein. And it's very sheer and quite nice actually. I don't own... I think this is my second lip gloss that I have, but it's quite nice. And then we also went to MAC 
and I wanted to buy a lip pencil to go with my lipstick Vegas fold so I got lasting sensation which definitely makes it last a bit longer right there and the lady also talked me into getting something for my eyebrows and it is their I think it's just called an eyebrow pencil it's just eyebrows in the color fling and it has a very fine nib if you can see that. And then I also got a eyebrow brush which is the MAC 204 brush to go with it. And I really like to keep everything in that packaging in case you wondered. I also got a 17 Super Smooth Waterproof and Long Stay Eyeliner Pencil in the colour 50 Beige Matte. And uh, whoops, figured that. I figured that would go in the waterline but I haven't really tried that yet so next up i got this watch which i actually bought in the uh plane on the way back and it's an icky watch which is a dutch brand it's called icky fashion and they do watches and wallets and i believe sunglasses and i think this is the daisy model in rose gold and i really really like it and it comes in this box then here it also has a small two and here it has two more of these uh, chains I guess you could call them so you can make it bigger if you want to. So I really really like this watch. It wasn't even that expensive, it was 50 euros on the plane and usually it's 60 so it just feels like really nice quality and I really like it. Next up is this bag and it's unbranded I bought it somewhere in Heraklion <laughs> and I just needed a new bag because my David Jones bag was getting a bit tattered and it's quite old and the pattern's starting to fade and I like this because it's such a neutral colour and this clasp that you can easily open and then there's three pockets two, one on the back and one in front and then one in the middle that you can zip up and that has uh, three pockets as well and I really quite like it and I got it with discount it came to 20 euros so I'm really glad about that <laughs> then I got this fan and we bought this on the beach because it was really hot but you can basically get these anywhere when you're on holiday so lastly I got new shoes and I got these vans and they're bright blue and have pink detailing on the inside as well as pink holes for the laces and mine already look a bit battered because I went on a 7k hike and I hadn't brought any walking shoes so I had to use these and I also used these when I went on a cheap safari so they've already been put to good use so that is it for all the things I bought, thankfully, because otherwise I would be a lot more broke. And I will see you again next week. Bye!